Today I want to take a look at named functions and how they can help simplify Power Apps Canvas development. Let's say you have a series of buttons that are executing the same action steps. And with those buttons, there might be some repetition that and maybe two different ways to save, two different ways to update. And generally, it's going to be something more in the, the saving data area. So if we have button one, which is on select, and we can say set uh, var one, hello one, something like this, right? But maybe that expands and there's a lot of different things happening and there's repetition because the same series of steps needs to be used in a different part of the application. So if we have a formula, it's kind of lengthy like that for button one and maybe button two is executing those same things plus extra. And with that, we want to make sure that we have a way of viewing. So let's go ahead and do var one over here. Yes, we'll check the defaults for var two, var three, and finally, var four for our fourth control. There we are. So in an app like this, we can go ahead and set all of our different controls. And I'm going to add one more for reset down at the bottom. We'll go ahead and bring that in. We'll change the text on this to reset. And we'll go take a look at the on select. And we'll empty each of these variables. I'm setting them empty string. There we go. So we can reset them all, button one can apply, button two can apply, but we have this pattern where two different buttons are running the same code. And what that creates is two different copies of the code. They're matched and they're in sync right now, but maybe they don't stay that way. Now with two buttons performing the same workload, we have button one, button two, and essentially duplicate code that both button one and button two are performing the same function. What I'd like to do is avoid this repetition because if we change it, we need to change it in both places. One way to go about that is going to be making hidden button down here. And I'm going to put this as function button hello world. So the purpose of this third button is to become a shared resource so that the other two can leverage it. So I'm going to put everything in there and now we actually have three that are doing the work. But the thing about that is the hidden button we're not going to keep uh, visible for the end user. And in the on select here we're going to use a select function to run the function button, hello world. And this, this pattern I'm calling a function button, that the purpose of that button is not for a user to click, it's to hold the function. And so that the design becomes our individual user click buttons can ride on top of the hidden button. And the hidden button is more of a shared resources that end users are not supposed to see. And for that, we go ahead and set the visible property to false. Users don't see it. Users don't click it, but as developers, we get to leverage it. So when we have button one and button two executing that same code, and maybe they need to do things pre and post before and after, that's fine. But now we have an application where button one, button two, performing the same workload, but from a code management perspective, there's only one copy of the code. And that single copy gives us a higher quality for updating the functionality of the form. There are a lot of times where this is going to apply. You'll have a form with save and submit or save only. Your save function right now might be duplicate. You probably have duplicate code in other places, like the on start of an app is reading data and then a refresh button is reading data. There's a lot of use cases where Power Apps Canvas currently has duplicate code, refreshing data, saving data, multiple times you need to execute the same code. By using a hidden button and then simply executing the select statement, we can leverage that hidden button as a shared function. And this allows us to avoid duplication and also make our code just easier to read. Like button one and two have this really short select statement. And then the hidden button is doing the work in the background. 
So the final user experience is that button one and button two are executing the identical code and the user doesn't see the hidden shared button in the background. But as developers, we can use that as storage for our shared functions. Thanks for watching.